Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Create Survey. When I click onto this link, I can get myself started. So, in creating a new survey, I want to give it a title. So, I'm just going to call it uh, Evaluation of Project, which has just come up there. And having pressed Enter, it's taken me to this point. You can see up here that if you click on any one of these, it just shows you that you can change the colour scheme. Quite what Purple Passion is, that's anyone's business. Let's go and choose something like Light Olive, that will do. So, at this point, I need to start to add some questions. If I click on to here, I can choose the different kinds of questions I can use. So, if I want to know what each one of these does, I can click on the examples just here, and looking through, by selecting each one of these, I can see on the right-hand side of the screen how these responses are going to look. You can also see that you can tick answers, and the user in your survey can make use of ticking the box to confirm their answer. So in this case, I'm going to just choose, perhaps I will look at something like a rating scale. Maybe I will look at something like using a text box. So that means the user could write some answers in. But I suggest that you try out all of these different examples and just see which things suit you. Now, the most important thing is to plan your survey. Decide what kind of responses you want. Decide what kinds of things that you need to analyse in terms of the evaluation of the results of the survey. OK, we're now finished with this section. So I'm just going to go to the Red Cross and close down the window and move on to the next stage. You can see that uh, I'm going to just design my questions. So I'm going to click on the drop down box here with this arrow. I'm now going to go and choose the response single text box. And I'm going to put in the following. I'm just going to say, for instance, which primary school did you go to? You might do it that you want details from the student to be able to find out how their transition has been from primary to secondary school, as an example. So we know that student voice is important nowadays and taking their feedback and having a system which calculates all of their responses would be invaluable. So just on with my example, which primary school did you go to? At the bottom here, you can validate the text, which just basically means that if I tick it here, you can see that the expected response would involve text in it. So if a student or a respondent puts in numbers, things like that, then an error message would come up. So we are going to say, well, actually, I want only text. I don't want any numbers to enter into this. So then I can go on to this next part here, which says require answer to question. So you can put a tick here to make sure that the respondent answers the question on the page before they are able to move on. So that's the most important aspects, and we will save the changes. So now you can see that my question has appeared there. I can once again add in another question. So I will click on to here. Once again, I am on this window. I'm going to now choose another question type. I click on the drop down arrow once again, and then I'm going to now try rating scale. I'm going to add in a question. Uh, to what extent did you enjoy the project? And with that question, I could put in some row choices. And I might be able to say classwork homework or trip and just have that as an example and here I can have some ratings to go with this so 
with the ratings, I might say that if the student thought that it was very good, or the student thought that it was just good, that a student might think it's satisfactory, or they thought it was poor. And with the weighting, we might want it that you put it all at one, because you want only one mark added to poor, or one mark or comment added to satisfactory, etc. You don't want four points given to poor if you're trying to do a comparative analysis. So we move on and we can put in a comment field. If a student feels that they want to put in another response or answer, you could put in an add a field comment. And it's, sometimes it's useful in giving the, anyone the opportunity to be able to add some extra information. I would tick in required answer and that would be enough for me. So now you can see, here's my question, here's the different elements and here's the rating. And with the rating you can tick it at whichever rating.